Well, hello everyone. How are you doing tonight? Hello, hello. Hey, Mrs. TV. How are you tonight? Good talking. How are you? I'm hanging in there. Good to have you back sitting next to me <laughs> for the live stream. Yay! Looks like we might have one person out there. Say hi to somebody. <laughs> All right, so pull this back up. All right, so we are ready to roll. Got some good topics I think to talk about tonight. Yes, we do. And you, you know, talking, to... you don't have any problem talking. <laughs> so, well, see if we can wait for a <laughs> few people to jump online, join us tonight. See how everybody's doing. We're doing right. great. And I think as fall is rolling in in Michigan here, we're starting it to is. feel it. It's going from nice hot to a little chilly and rainy, you know? It was really cold this weekend. Dropped down into the 50s. It was just a little bit, uh, a little bit chilly. Yeah, it's just having to deal with fall. I'm just not happy about it. The only good thing I like about fall is football. <laughs> oh, and do I ever know that? Oh. Yeah, I'm a desperate Lions fan. I don't Do, know why. I doing all right this why. year, but uh, <laughs> still the Lions. Hey, Silver Ripples, how are you tonight? Thank you for joining us. Yeah, we're getting back into the swing of things here. I um, had a very, very busy weekend. And uh, ah, just trying to recover so you go off a busy weekend to uh, Monday at work. And so <laughs> like, we look forward to the live stream as a way to kind of unwind and chat with some friends and have some fun. I see that Bigfoot Silver Hide and Seekers joined us. Hello, oh, Bigfoot. Hey, Bigfoot. Uh, hey, here's Silver Steeler and Winning and Ralph and oh wow, Rafe, we have Rafe is trying yeah. to <laughs> I'm a little bit uh, rusty, shall we say, <laughs> since I haven't been on the stream. And then Barbara's joined us. Hello, oh, Barbara. Barbara. Hi, Barbara. Thank you for joining us tonight. And then. Uh, Mrs. TB said I had a Silver Steel and went into image photography. And I'd just like to say a special thanks to Silver Steel and Winnie and Image Photography for joining us and co-hosting with us last night. We always have a great time with them. And folks, I have to tell you, look, to look forward to hearing from them again. We have such a good time with them, but uh, we'll probably be inviting them on again real soon. So those guys do a great job. They're clearly uh, um, silver lovers and enjoy coin collecting and Silver Steeler brings a whole new, uh, different uh, angle to it than I bring to it, and Winning's uh, got, got some good stuff too, and she does all that great uh, photography and video editing, and uh, they're really doing some great stuff. So we're happy to have them as uh, joining us. It was really cool, so thank you, you guys. Yes, and Winning's using her uh, skills for putting things together. Cool and using stuff. Yeah, the cool, cool stuff. stuff on the... RV Nomads join us. Hey, RV. Thank you for joining us again this week. Really appreciate it. And Mike Wolf. Hey, Mike. How's it going? Thank you. I don't think I've seen you out here for a while, so I really appreciate you joining us again. And let me make sure we're all caught up. We've got uh, we got some people jumping in now. And uh, so it looks like we're caught up to everybody. <laughs> it's because we started probably a few seconds earlier than we normally do. I don't know. What? what you mean we, we were prepared. On time? <laughs> 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 Unique and interesting Ooh, is that we started on time. What do you know? <laughs> yeah, one never. <laughs> Never can uh, anticipate when that might happen. <laughs> yeah, RV, no. Thanks, thanks for joining us. We really appreciate uh, you joining us. And as usual, we've got some giveaways tonight. Got the quarter and the dime. Got a nice Mercury 1944. And we do have our 
bullion bonus uh, coming for tonight as well. And, um, you know, we're halfway there. One of the things I wanted to do tonight, first of all, let me say hi to Coin Sense and Nonsense. Oh, uh, we appreciate you nonsense. coming around and saying hi. He says, uh, they say they can't stay, but wanted to say hey. Well, we appreciate that. We do. Coin sense. Thanks for stopping CSNN. by. CSNN. Coin Sense and Nonsense. Awesome. Thank you for, for popping by. We really appreciate it. And so anyway, you know, I decided tonight to talk to Mrs. TB and we decided that if we can get 30 people watching tonight, <laughs> we are going to do a special go. Oh. And that's going to be something kind of nice. So I don't know. I don't know how we have 30 people get on. But if you have any friends, family, call, call sure. your boss. Call your grandkids, <laughs> call mom and dad, say, hey, jump on that live stream tonight, get a chance to win. And so, uh, no, we just figured, I think we may have had 30 one time, we usually have between 20 and 25, we get a nice, you yeah, know, a lot of great people out nice there. Community but we just figured, why not, some people, you know, throw out something special if they make certain milestones, so we figured, huh, why not, why not see if we can get a milestone tonight. So that's cool. <laughs> Awesome. Hey, Steve Rice is here. Steve, hey, thank you for stopping by and hitting, smashing the like button. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much, Steve. We appreciate it when you stop by and appreciate all the comments you make on the videos as well. Appreciate your support. So just as quick as he's, everybody can say hi to him. He's going to poof. He's going to disappear. <laughs> oh, no. RV Nomads 365 says his pups are here. Count us as two. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, oh, you've got the coffee going there, Mr. T. You know, did I just do a salvate metal slurp? Uh, oh, I didn't well, mean that to. That was more like a more like a. Let me take this. Mr. TB. Let me do it a little bit more quietly. Sorry about that, guys. This microphone is pretty sensitive. <laughs> it is. Let me go. Usually it's a clinging of the ice in my glass of water. <laughs> Hello, Rice and a little more silent except for that sippy Hello, sip, sip. poof, and he's gone. <laughs> ah, well, did you guys hear a sales there? But oh, sales probably got that copyright. I don't want to get in trouble. Because <laughs> it was actually coffee I was slipping too. Probably not quite as nice as the stuff he drinks, but... <laughs> uh, Winning says she wants coffee now. <laughs> I cannot drink coffee oh. after 3 p.m. Oh, I just no. don't sleep You'll at be up all. all night. But what do you do at 9 o'clock when you come across me with a cup of coffee in my hand? <laughs> Crashed out in my chair. <laughs> I know. I don't know how you do that. <laughs> so Silver Steeler says, uh, you forgot to mention, been a good day, but quite a flat tire. Oh, man. What? That's terrible, getting a flat tire. Hope you're feeling better physically there, Silver Steeler. Uh, trust that you're uh, getting better every day, but we just we just hope you are. Ah, Mike was, I've just heard the coffee maker go ding. Be right back. <laughs> coffee is ready. <laughs> you're uh -oh. stirring up the coffee. Yeah, keep everybody's going to be up late tonight. It's going to be all my fault. <laughs> it is. And, right. and everybody will stay awake like me, but then you'll be sleeping, right? <laughs> no, hopefully they can sleep too. Yeah, I'll, I'll get a good night's sleep. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> you always do. Yeah. Uh, my problem is I stay up too late, actually. Uh, uh, we're usually up way too late nowadays. Yeah, Silver Ripple says, coffee spike. <laughs> Wait a minute. Your, your tire had a pair of pliers in it? What the heck? Oh. Jeez, that would have been a nice puncture. Coffee spike. How do you get a player handle in a tire? <laughs> I can. <laughs> Smash that like button. Hey, Dragon Kid, how you doing tonight? Thank you for joining us. Yeah, how do players end up in a tire? I guess I could see if uh, you rolled on it the right way, flipped it up, and then the tire rolled over and poked right into it. But I don't think I've ever, uh, ever heard of that before. <laughs> He had a pair of players in it. He's serious. Wow. I bet you I destroyed that tire. I bet you there's no fixing that tire. Wow. What if that fell off of somebody's uh, utility truck? <laughs> Goes to work and, hey, where are my players? 
Hey, Michael M. How you doing tonight? Thank you for joining us. We still show 15 watching, so we're halfway there. But uh, we'll have a decent giveaway if we can hit 30 tonight. So, but we're not really that worried about it. We appreciate everybody that comes on, whether it's two or 100. It doesn't really matter to us. We just want to come out and take an hour out of our busy day to catch up with our friends Spend and see how they're doing. Spend time with yeah. folks, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so... Anyway, let's go ahead and get started, and um, we can uh, certainly engage with you guys in the chat if you want to keep talking about some other things. Uh, wow, Silver Steel was able to salvage the tire for 25 bucks. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> that's good, because let me tell you something that's really amazing. Tires are very expensive nowadays. They are. I can't believe how much uh, it's nothing to pay $500 for a medium-grade tire. It's like Mrs. TB needs some new tires on her car before winter hits and we're just going to have to have that about maybe waiting for a good Friday and seeing if we might be able to find a decent deal on them then but yeah we got to get some tires on there. Then Michael we'll M says one tire for one ounce of silver. Don't say it that oh. way Michael M. We'll never get tires for my car if you relate it to silver. <laughs> Yeah, maybe well, we will, but it just might be a because, little bit uh, <laughs> silver, silver Steeler saying it's 25 bucks. Oh, for 25 bucks, bucks yeah, to fix the tire. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, they were brand new, too, so, oh. yeah. Oh, man. All yeah, right, well, so. That even happen. Let me tell you guys some good news. So, as most of you who follow me on my videos know, I've been whining a little bit lately about my constitutional silver guy. Uh <laughs> He was crying. Mm -hmm. No, no, just uh, <laughs> you know, kind of, kind of lost, kind of lost contact with him. He's been telling me that uh, he was getting low, maybe on the constitutional silver, and then for some reason, he just, uh, he just kind of disappeared. I couldn't catch up to him. So I was very, I was actually concerned about him. I thought something had happened to him because we usually touch bases at least once a week, and I couldn't get in touch with him. So let me take a moment to say hi to Ron L. No, you did not miss a go. We've got at least three of them tonight. And full push medals. Hey, how you doing, FPM? Really appreciate you joining us. All right, just want to make sure I say hi to people before they fly by too quickly. So anyway, I ended up finding this guy. Um, I had to reach out to him uh, uh, through Let Go. As you guys know, he's my Let Go resource. And caught up to him. He's like, man, I'm so glad you're able to find me. I was worried that... Yes, but I knew you were an IT guy, and I knew you'd figure out a way to get a hold of me, so. Um, oh, so Two Punch uh, Gaming, you're Ron L. Okay, cool. Yeah, he, you were getting some really great constitutional silver, but I think you said your uh, guy dried up on you as well, so. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that, I think he's not selling as much as he had, but boy, he's, he's been trying to sell me a lot of uh, silver dollars lately, the Morgans and the Peace Dollars. So I've been picking up uh, some peace dollars, some organs for anywhere between 15 and 17 bucks a piece and some really nice ones too. So, um, but I would rather spend my money on the quarters, dimes, and nickels, or quarters, dimes, and halves, not nickels. I don't, I don't collect the word nickels. <laughs> I didn't know where that came from. <laughs> TV is also a silver stalker and tracked him. <laughs> I did track him down. <laughs> I was worried. I was worried. IT stacker. Um, stalker. <laughs> yeah, I was worried that something happened to him because, like I yeah. said, we were in touch for quite a while, for mm -hmm. a long time. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, he's got himself a good little customer here. Yeah. So I couldn't figure out why he had just disappeared. So It didn't respond um, to your, your um, yeah, questions yeah. to him. Yeah, Bigfoot says just just glad you got what you did when you could. Yeah, I mean, I, I, we, I, we yeah, agree. That's I mean, really, we, really has pretty much uh, slowed down in any case. Yeah, so but it was yeah. it was a good run. <laughs> yeah, Michael or Mike West says got himself some fresh coffee. Oh, yum! So now Winning says I'm an IT stacking stalker. <laughs> <laughs> You know, so Ripple says, you know, you love silver deals when you track a man down for his coins. <laughs> I have to tell you, that's exactly what I did. Um, plus, he's a really nice person. We were concerned that something might have gone awry. 
Sorry, a Nomad. I can help you with that. I can give you some pretty good techniques for how to figure out a good deal. Um, oh, it is yeah. it is math, and uh, you know it can get a little confusing once in a while. But uh, yeah, I can, I can help you figure that out because that's what I do almost every day. So anyway, let me show you this real quick. Let me uh, take this off the screen momentarily and show you. And this is why I wanted to track this guy down, right? Look what <laughs> I got here. Got uh, let me see it on screen. There it is. We got two rolls of quarters, a roll of halves, a roll of dimes. So what's that? 10, 20, 30, 35. And a couple more uh, Mercury's here. So $37. I'm sorry. thirty-five twenty, And uh, <laughs> Constitutional Silver. So um, this all for the great price that I've been getting it for. So at the time I got it, about over $4 below spot. As you guys know, silver tank today, but got this a few days ago. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy I was able to catch up to him because this is a, this is a, you know, a nice score and we'd like to keep it flowing as long as we can. So I just thought I'd show you that uh, we're very happy that we got our resource back. So mm -hmm. Absolutely. pretty cool that uh, we're able to catch up to him. So what are we missing on the comments, this, uh, Mrs. TV? Uh, yep, winning image TV needs a silver intervention. <laughs> no, no. For me to buy a constitution, I need more info on it. Plus, Canadian constitution is obviously different from American. Yeah, well, that's right, Michael. I think your equivalent of our 90% is 80% on your Canadian stuff. So, it does take a little bit different math. But just do a, just do a search for it on... On Google or whatever, you'll find uh, really um, calculations for constitutional silver in Canada. Well, uh, TV, what are your um, favorite sites to go to do, look, you know, look up those references for how much it costs or what would be a good price? <laughs> well, I... you have a few. Yeah, I have uh, junksilverguide.com is my favorite because it uses a calculation of where, which is 0 0.715 per dollar, so... If you just put in how many quarters, dimes, uh, halves you have, it'll tell you the face value. It'll tell you the, well, why don't we just, uh, why don't we just pull it up here for a second. Let's a tour there. And what's it, what's I know I've shown this to people before, so I don't want to bore them too much. But let's just pop over there for a second. And so you can go ahead and keep an eye on the chat for me there, Mrs. TV. Sure. So I can't see it now. So when you first get here, you see all this stuff. But I just click on this top. You don't have to drill down here. Just click on the top tab, silver <laughs> calculators. And so let's take this uh, Let's take this stuff I just showed you. So I had a roll of half dollars, which is 20 of them. I had two rolls of quarters, which is 80. I had a roll of dimes, which is 50 plus two more, so 52. So quickly, this is I can, I can calculate this out real quick. If I just do calculate, you can see right there. Uh, that uh, it gives you a, it gives you a line item for each item. So the dimes are, you know, silver value sixty three forty four. The quarters are two forty four oh eight. But down here is the important part, right? Four twenty nine sixty is a silver value. So if you paid spot, you'd pay four twenty nine sixty. The face value is always nice to have thirty five twenty. And then over here is how much silver. So if you without doing the calculation yourself, there's over twenty five ounces of silver. And all these coins, and then down here you've got some more sophisticated calculators. How um, much silver is in troy ounces? How um, much silver is in a standard ounce? Because a lot of times on eBay they list it as standard ounces. How um, much premium did I pay? So there's a lot more calculators down here, and all you got to do is just you know fill in the blank, and then click calculate. But this is what I use, and I use it on my phone all the time. It pulls the spot price from JM Bullion, but you can change that if you want to. But it'll it populates with the current spot price. So this is really cool. So this is why I get a good deal because I know if I paid spot, I should have paid four twenty nine sixty. But uh, when I bought it, I think uh, silver was about eighteen thirty five. So if I recalculate, you can see it should have been four sixty one, and we paid three hundred and fifty dollars for it. You can't turn that down. So a hundred and what a hundred eleven dollars less than spot. So. Um, the other one that people like to use, I know there's a few of them, but if you use coin apps and go here. Now the thing with coin apps is coin apps uses a calculation for nowhere. So they assume that this is all BU coins. 
So here you don't even have to click a calculate button. So if you have and a mercury dime or a, a Roosevelt dime doesn't matter. They, they come up the same because they weigh the same. But if you have your 52 dimes, just put it in there. You can see right away does your total value. Come down here to your quarters. What do we have? 80 quarters. Put that in there. And if we come over here to our uh, half dollars, again, just a 90% silver. We had 20 of them. So 432. And then here's the price over here 1698 so let's look at the other one so let's go back here let's put in 1698 is anybody getting bored yet <laughs> all right so over here this says 42708 over mm -hmm. here this says 43237 so you see how there's a five dollar difference it's because of the calculation they're using over here they're using bu with nowhere over here this is assuming most of constitutional silver unless you're paying a premium is going to have wear that's why I like this calculator. and Right. It gives you more of an accurate evaluation of how much silver is left in that worn uh, silver coin, right? Yep. Now you can see here they've got a calculation where you can put in an amount of wear of, you know, 2%. But how do you know how much wear is on those coins? You don't know that. So I like to just use 0.715 because that's what everybody else uses. Um, so anyway, that is where we are at with that. So Silver Stiller says that it's his fault that Silver tanked it was him. He's to blame. <laughs> because he just bought a bunch of silver, right. didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> kind of like you go get your car washed and then it rains. That that happens to me. <laughs> well, that's what happened with us. We bought, we bought some gold here a few days ago. And guess what happened to gold today? Mm, yeah. Tanked. Oops. Down. That's exactly what happens. But you know, you can't chase that spot price. To me, I'm I'm a stacker. We're stackers. We right. stack, you know. Right. Prices right. are gonna go up and down. We just gotta we just gotta jump in. Same yeah. Way. Yeah, RV and nomads, that's right. You know, use those use those apps, keep them on your phone. And I can give you some other tips because a lot of times when you buy Constitution Silver, they're gonna tell you it's twelve times or thirteen times, eleven point five times. So I can help you out with that too as far as you know, how you use that in relationship to your spot. Oldies and goodies. Hey, Al, how you doing tonight? Thanks for joining us. And TB, don't you have some videos out there, too, that um, he could look at and, and look at the historic information for yeah. how to calculate something? I do. I, I do RV Nomads. It's, it's been a while, so if you go out and you look at my videos and go back a little ways, I've got one specifically. Yeah, I think the thumbnail on it actually has some numbers and some calculations, and I take you all through how to calculate that stuff. But, you know, if you're still not sure, shoot me an email at tb at talkingbullion.com, and I'll, uh, I'll respond to you and uh, help you. If you have any specific questions, I'll help you figure it out. Shoot me some examples, and I'll, uh, I'll help you with the uh, calculations and how to figure it out. Silver Ripple says that coinflation.com is handy yeah. too. A lot of people like coinflation. Yep, that's that's a great site to go to as well. I don't generally go there because I have my other two faves, but that's a fine one to go to. Silver Steeler says, do they have a new calculation for 999 quarters, etc.? Well, that's just going to be your your you know your spot price for the ounce at that time. So, I mean, if somebody wants to sell me something 999 and spots 18 dollars and and I know, you know, if I want to pay a buck over premium, I'm paying 19, trying to get it as close to the spot as possible. So I don't know of any calculators because really you would just use the spot price on that one. But you can see there that they had the silver dollars. I know uh, Silver Steeler, you like those uh, you like those dollars as well. And you can see down here, if you put in one silver dollar, this doesn't matter if it's a piece or mercury. It shows you how much the silver value is right now. And while well, I put in uh, 16.98 there, and about 13 bucks, and it shows you how much silver's in there as well. And again, this is calculating where. That's why it's less than the. I think officially it's 0.77. I think. All right, so let me get caught up to everybody. Coinflation's handy. So yeah. TP, it's already 25 after the hour. Can you believe how quickly this hour is going? It's going by fast. All right, so I think you're implying that we need to do a ga. Mm -hmm. yeah, everybody out there waiting for a ga. Read between the lines. All right, so why don't we go ahead and do the 1944 Mercury Dime first. And we'll pull the quarter aside. And you guys, I hate to tell you this, uh, 
Yeah. And I have to have your thinking caps on tonight. Um, but let's see. Um, Silver Ripple says, I know Silver Steeler and winning by Morgans. Does anyone else in the chat? Yeah, I, uh, we've been buying a few Morgans lately because they've been available mm -hmm. to us, but we don't primarily buy Morgans, again, because of the premium that's associated. But if you can get them, we've been getting them for 15 or 16 bucks a piece. That's a good price for a Morgan, so we've been buying a few. Just because people like those, too, and it would be easy to trade eventually. Yeah. Or sell, yeah. Trade or sell. Mm -hmm. And then Bigfoot says, all I need is silver to hit 25 an ounce and you could ride off in the sunset and live happily ever after. <laughs> really? At 25? I don't I don't know that 25 would do it for us. I think I'd be looking for yeah. something higher, even though that'd be pretty good. We bought most of our silver well, when right. it was low, you know? So, right. Well, yeah. So but we're... still, I think that you'd need quite a bit to really... <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess if Bigfoot has a lottery uh, hit, <laughs> if Bigfoot has as much silver as his, the size of his feet, he's probably <laughs> he'd probably, he'd probably make a fortune. <laughs> Barbara has a couple Morgans, yeah. Um, yeah, Morgans are good because people like them. So anyway, they let's do. Go, uh, and we're starting to like say, hey, let's get a few other little things in our collection. But, yeah, yeah. But let's talk about a guy there. All right, let's do a go. So. Uh, so we're going to do number three. Okay, okay, your third question. How much mm. peanut butter? No, that's not it. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Go ahead and read your question. <laughs> All right, so the question is, and I got this off a website, so I'm referencing the website. And the question is, According to BlanchardGold.com, what is the most valuable, what is one, one of the most valuable coins you could find in your pocket change? Looking for the coin type in the year and the mint mark. So, boy, that's a, that's a lot to ask for for a dime, isn't it? <laughs> so, according to BlanchardGold.com, what is one of the most valuable coins you could find in your pocket change? All right, hit go. Hit go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to catch up on some of these uh these other little comments. Comments. Uh, okay. Ronell says he has only three Morgans. Well, that's good. Three is good. Okay. Barbara has a couple mm -hmm. Morgans. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah. Bigfoot didn't want me to reveal that uh, he had as much silver as the size of his feet. <laughs> better, be, better get back down to the answers here. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm not even <laughs> Now Sorry, again, I've just been casually. <laughs> now again, we're referencing uh, BlanchardGold.com. Blanchard mm -hmm. That's that, from. you know, site's opinion. Yeah. Uh, okay, <coughs> I think, there we go. There you go. Silver Ripples is good at Google. <laughs> you got it. Google master. And uh, winning image photography, I agree with you. 1916D Mercury. But I don't think they'd really consider that as pocket change nowadays. Not that a 69 would be that common either, but... So let me read you the answer. So Silver Ripples has it right. 1969S Lincoln sent with a devil die obverse. And for those of you who don't know, an obverse is the front of the coin. So let me read you some of the information on it. So it says, this extremely sought after rare coin is easily identifiable by extremely strong doubling on the mo motto and God we trust is also word liberty and the date on the obverse. After the, after the collecting community noticed the aberration, early coins were reportedly seized by the Secret Service amid concerns of counterfeiting. However, once the coin was confirmed to be genuine, collectors began searching in earnest for this coin and the hunt continues today. Last year, a Michigan coin collector was searching through a 50-coin roll of pennies and stumbled upon an uncirculated 1969S double-die Lincoln penny. The coin was estimated to have a value of at least $44,000 and perhaps as high as $100,000. And how many people passed that penny on and just threw it in that extra change jar because they didn't want to have that in their pocket? <laughs> So yeah, yeah, so keep your eye out for the 1969S. 
That's the moral of that story. <laughs> and Silver Streak. Hey, Silver Streak. I don't think we said hi to you. How you doing tonight? Uh, some guy in Silver, some guy in Silver Seekers had one. Silver Seekers. I'm assuming his live stream uh, had one. He said he sent it to auction. It was supposed to be worth a big forty thousand dollars. Wow. Nice. Yeah. So yeah, be watching out for that. All right, so got the dime off the board. All right. And then we're going to have the quarter. Did you make a note of the winner, dear? I did. I very okay. much did. So, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, what if you did? I know, I know, Silver Ripples. I need to go. We need to go through our uh, Constitutional Silver and see if we have any key dates in there. be awesome if we came across something. He's did they just make a the stack S or not a... Did they make the S for circulation? I don't believe they did. I think S's are uh, not intended for circulation. So that's a good question there, Winnie. Hmm. Yeah, RV says it's going to start picking up some pennies off the ground. <laughs> good idea. That's uh, find a penny, pick it up. Oh, one thing else I wanted to talk to you guys, and Mrs. TB should probably tell you this. What? This looks like a sticker, doesn't it? It does. Guess but... what? Boom! It's Mrs. Magnet. TB got some magnets. Yay! Sticker Mule had a sale and we took advantage of it. What do you guys think, huh? <laughs> Pretty cool, Mrs. TB stepping up. Anyway, we wanted to <laughs> let you guys know we've had a few requests for her magnets, so we have those now to send out if somebody wants we one. We do. We do. Magnet time. <laughs> <laughs> Silver Steeler says, be right back and go check some pennies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised that they're not uh, <laughs> going to sit there, pull all the change out, start looking for those pennies now. Yep, and then Ron L says, bought a roll of quarters off somebody. On let go, instead of 40, there are 42. Well, that's a nice uh, $6 bonus there for you, Ron. That's awesome. I always count mine every time we get on. I don't count them when I buy them. I count them when I get home. One time, he gave me one too many uh, half dollars. And I let him know next time I caught up to him, uh, I gave him back. Actually, I just worked it on the next deal. I said, hey, I'll take off uh, five bucks for that one. So, or add five bucks for that one. So, but yeah, he's pretty good about it. Uh, making sure they're all there. But I count, <laughs> I count them all just to make sure. Uh, let me see, Silver Heist. Hey, Silver Heist, thanks, thanks for joining us. We really appreciate it. I watched your video the other day, um, really good about uh, zero interest or negative interest. That was that was pretty darn good there. Um, I already have a magnet from you. Yeah, I, Mrs. Mrs. TV's. Oh, I think you made a magnet, didn't you? Oh, you uh, you turn your stickers into magnets. So this is he has a magnetic personality. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did Alex join us? Alex Coyne hey, Hunters joined Alex. us. Hey, Alex. Thanks for joining us. All right, so that was a nice little educational uh, win, huh? We got a couple more too. We got a couple of uh, good ones for you coming up. So. Let's go ahead and keep it moving. So, Mrs. TV. Yes. We went to a coin show this weekend. We did. What was your did thoughts we? on that? Yeah, I'll let you go ahead and talk um, a little bit about it. Well, it was kind of educational because just looking at some coins, and I really um, am still learning. I got this big learning curve. So, it's great, great to talk to somebody and have them educate. Uh, the one coin dealer was talking about a double stamp. Yeah, okay, let's say good night to Barbara. She's oh, leaving. Hey Thanks, Barbara. Barbara. Appreciate you Thanks joining for us tonight. By. Sorry, I interrupted you there, Mrs. T. Sure. I just want to say good night to Barbara. So. Okay. So, so yeah. So it was, um, you know, it was a small coin show. Yeah, pretty small. It was a, it was a really probably big. what maybe twenty vendors if we were lucky, Not maybe a little less. But that's okay because then sometimes they have the time to talk about what they're passionate about, which is coins, obviously, because they're coin dealers. So we needed to 
find something for uh, one of our grandkids. <laughs> Birthdays are always happening around here, but uh, but yeah. So we did we did do a little bit of uh, shopping around. Winning says it's nice that you get to talk to somebody else besides me. <laughs> <laughs> and then what do they talk about? Coins. <laughs> Yeah, we had a pretty good discussion with one of the dealers about a, what was it, Mrs. TV? 1850, four over three? Yeah, uh, yeah. no, three over four. Three over four. A three yeah. over four. Yeah. So why don't you explain that, because I, I don't know if I can explain it all that well. Yeah, let me say hi to Don't Ask first. Hey, Don't Ask, how you doing tonight? Thanks for joining us. I'm hoping that you have received your card that I sent you in the mail with a nice little uh, nice little thing in there for you, so you should have received that by now. So why did you ask? Because that's don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> he said don't ask, and I asked. And then you still and ask. I, asked. I don't well, know what I'm no, going to do about, about you. That, don't <laughs> and then Dart Stacker's joined us. Hey, Dart Stacker, yeah, I read that right. Hey, how's it going? Uh, yeah, so he said that there was an 1854 over 3 or 3 over 4? 3, three, three over, four. over 4. And he had one for, he had three different examples. One was $550. Right. And he got out his magnifying glass and said, here, check it out. <laughs> and uh, he was like, see it right there? We're like, no, we don't see it. No, it's right there. See it? No, we don't see it. We'll try this one. Do you see it? No, we don't see it. And I'm like, Handing oh, this magnifying glass back and forth. Do you see it? No. Do you see it? No. I'm sure it was there, but you know, I just think that uh, we weren't really, we weren't uh, we were in, in the, the market, market for one. For it, right. But it's good to see these and learn about these things. Exactly. And uh, we just don't know. I'm not really sure who'd pay $550 for something you can't see, but people must. So, oh yeah, Full Push Metals received uh, his today. Awesome. Yeah, did you see that Don't Ask opened it on video? Okay, good. Awesome. awesome. I'll have to check that out. <laughs> so, Ripples, I see it now. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, so the coin show wasn't really too impressive. We did pick up a, uh, one of the marble coins for the grandsons, and he liked it. Uh, you know, but, you know, at 16, he's like, ah, that's cool. Okay, what's the next car got in it? I'm looking for more money. But, uh, yeah, so, to throw him a little bit of fee at was, too, something he could actually go to the store with and spend sooner than later. <laughs> and it was fairly close to our home, which is pretty unusual for the coin shows. Mm -hmm. Hey, Silver Turtle 65 joined us. Silver Turtle, been hitting the YouTube videos hard there. It's awesome, some great stuff out there. Yeah, yeah there's some, so much to learn. Some of them are, uh, yeah, so Ripple, some of the coin shows can be small, some can be large. Around on Thanksgiving weekend, Detroit area, there's a huge coin show. I mean, probably a couple hundred vendors, and it's it's a pretty awesome, they have some really cool things there, so probably good to save up there, you know, probably their version of, uh, you know, a Black Friday type event around Thanksgiving, so. So do we went to uh, interesting things there. Yeah, and I bought a few uh, forty percent uh, Kennedys because I was running low, and uh, the ones I got from them aren't as nice as the ones I've been giving away. They're a little bit more uh, tarnished, <laughs> but still needed to pick up a few. So it's like uh, Alex says, Mrs. TB. It's like tell me about it. We usually have to drive hours. Yep, <laughs> Alex has to drive hours for some coin shows. Oh wow. Yeah, Silver Turtle's been putting out some really great videos. So, I went one years ago and it was maybe eight tables. Yeah, they, they can be pretty small, so. Well, it can be. We've we've gone to a few quite a distance away and it's not really uh, <coughs> very many tables there. Hey, Off Grid Power. Hey, Off Grid Power. Thank you for joining us. Good to see you tonight. Well... We can't see you, but we know you're out there. Good to hear from you Good tonight. Good to see your name out there. Good to see your name out there. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to be reaching out to you off grid. I've got uh, got some questions for you. So I told you months ago that I had some questions for you, and we still have those same questions. So I'm just reaching out to you. We want to ask you a few things about some stuff we have going on. So About off-grid power. About off-grid power, <laughs> of course. <laughs> All part of the 
part of that prepping type stuff is to just be prepared in whatever way you can. And it doesn't always have to be complicated or expensive. But. Yeah. So our next topic I want to ask about is, you know, you guys all know, I think that we're from the Michigan area, Southeast Michigan. And we've been very fortunate that they have not started charging sales tax or PMs for us. Mm -hmm. I just wondered how many of you are dealing with sales tax. Just out of curiosity, because I think we better plan ahead in our way. I think tomorrow um, it's becoming effective in Ohio. Wasn't it October 1st? It was Ohio. Yeah, 7% mm -hmm. sales tax on their precious metals. So are any of you, are any of the... Other of you experienced next I have to tell you, that's totally going to change. If we have to start paying sales tax, it's really going to change our philosophy. And it's really going to be hard to get a good deal on stuff. I just can't believe how much taxes we pay and so many different things. It's ridiculous. It's really, really frustrating. So, um, let me see. So those of you who say me, like Silver Streak, would you mind telling us what state you're in? If you don't want to, we can respect that as well. Uh, so Mike Lum says he's in the only Providence in Canada that charges sales tax. Oh, well, nope. aren't you lucky? <laughs> no. So Winning says Indiana has no sales tax. That's awesome. That is cool. Uh, Silver Steeler has a, nothing as of yet. That's cool. Hey, Silver Turtle just smashed the like button. Well, Thank you. Appreciate that a lot. It's unusual to see 19 people watching and 18 likes. That's awesome. Thank you, guys. <laughs> So Silver so Ripples are saying, not yet in Florida? Okay, well, that's cool. Hey, Alex says, I am, and it sucks. Yeah, I bet you. Uh, Silver Streaks in Arkansas, that's right. Um, it can cut into that small margin of making it worth it to purchase or not. And dealers don't have that kind of margin to eat the cost themselves. Well, that's true, yeah. And uh, let me see. That's why so much is going to the... Um, you know, uh, the, the melting. Yeah. Don't ask, says he thinks that 90% may be exempt. Hmm. Really? I have to pay tax on your silver. Yep, on all the silver. And Andrew O'Neill Black Cloud Mining. Hey, Andrew, how's it going tonight? Thank you for joining us. Yeah, thanks. Really for appreciate you coming along. You're in time. We still got a couple more giveaways to do, so you're in time for that. If TB can just take a breath and maybe do a, a go now and then. Take a pause in the talking. I'm reading the, I'm reading the chat. Okay, well good. See what these, I asked the question. That's I'm reading okay. the answers. Mm -hmm. Sales tax mm -hmm. on bullion dealers unless it's a thousand dollars, six percent. LCS sometimes no sales tax, cash on small purchases, but spotty. So so they're eating the tax for you on the small purchases, okay. Oh. Um, not That's got to be job. hurting them. But that's probably the only way that they can really encourage people to, you know, keep collecting. So, let me see, off-grid power said Utah, not, not going to Ohio for coins, and it's close to us, yep. Uh, it does, no premiums as well, I can't get a good deal here, yep. Alright, so... So Jake Calvary, hey Jack, Jake, how you doing tonight? Do you think Prince Charles will be on the sovereign coins after the Queen? Hmm, not really sure about that. It's a good no question clue. though. <laughs> so Full Push Metal says private deals or pawn shops. Yep. I wonder mm -hmm. if a pawn shop would be required to charge tax. So they probably would be. Depends. Um, Depends on how they wrote the law. How encompassing. Yeah, Winning's talking about a GoPro under the water. It's an interesting uh, thought there. <laughs> well, just in case, you know. Talk to, uh, uh, <laughs> talk to World Stalker. <laughs> just in case the next uh, jump across the lake, uh, you know, actually ends up in Koi. <laughs> yeah, we'll jump across the river so, there. So the might actually go stealing? underwater the next Should time. I have a GoPro strapped to his head just so we can find him? <laughs> It's a good idea, there, Mrs. <laughs> TV. <laughs> oh man! All right, so let's go. To, let's get to another go. I'm with Mrs. Nice. TV here. It's time to do another go. Uh -huh. And this time we're going to do question number two. And those of you who are good at Google can probably figure this out. This is for the 1964 
Washington quarter, a respectable yeah. coin for sure. And if we want to know how much that coin is currently worth, let's refresh this page. Refreshes over here. And we will put in one quarter. Melt value right now is three dollars and five cents. All right. There you go. Sorry, I didn't switch over to my desktop, but three dollars and five cents. All right, so here we go. Here is the question. Most of us know why coins have reeds, and for those who don't know, reeds are the ridges on the side of the coin. So most of us know that the reeds are there because in the early days uh, they used to shave the coin to, to get the precious metal off of it. And uh, you know, obviously take, take the silver, take the gold for themselves. So here's the question. Yes, Mrs. TV? And still spend the coin as yeah. though it were full weight. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. So now the question is, how many reeds does a quarter have? <laughs> How many reads and go? Okay. <laughs> go. So mm -hmm. how many reads, which are the ribbed lines on the side, the reads here, how many reads does a quarter have? <laughs> Jay Cowardly says a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, we can stop. Wow, that was quick. We can stop. Go ahead and yeah. stop. stop. We see that. Silver Turtle has got the right answer at 119 reads. Got in just before Rafe. And uh, Don't Ask at 12 million. Hmm. You were almost, almost got it there, Don't Ask. <laughs> just a few off. Just a couple. <laughs> <laughs> so, just for interesting facts, a dime has 118 reads and a half dollar has 150 reads. I thought the dime would have so much fewer. It's so just you, one less read than what a quarter is. It's kind of strange. Congratulations, Silver Turtle. You have won a 1964 quarter. Awesome. That is really cool. So we got one more go, and we said if we got up to 30, we'd have a special one. It doesn't look like we're going to make it, and that's okay. Our next one will be this nice 40%. 68 Kennedy and that will be coming soon because the time is rushing upon us. It is. Wow. Let me catch back up to uh, What were we talking about before I started to we were talking remind about, you about cause? We were talking about sales tax. Oh right. I don't know how many states. Do you know how many states have sales tax? I don't remember. I think it was like 34, 37, but a lot Most of the people of on here said that they didn't. Right? So yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. remember what the number is, but it's, it's yeah. coming, I think, to most of them. I mean, they're just want our money, so I can say. Not going to get political tonight, folks, but I just <laughs> wish they would let us uh, take home more than they take from us. So, yeah. All right, so our next topic is... Yeah, congratulations, Silver Turtle. Our next topic is, I'm wondering if anybody saw my gold alert video from a few days ago oh, that I posted about getting the pre-1933 gold, half-ounce gold coin for almost $40 below spot. <laughs> now, today, spots dropped quite a bit, and that coin would have dropped in price too, so it would all have been relational. But again, we can't chase the spot price around. If you see a good deal, you need to buy it. And I had a couple people reach out and say thank you for posting that deal because I got one so um, yeah so just looking at the comments so yeah forty dollars below spot now admittedly a half ounce pre-1933 gold coin is pretty expensive cost you over 700 bucks but 40 bucks below spot it's just so tough to turn down um, but I think that you probably could have turned around if you wanted to flip it pretty quick you could have taken it to a dealer and maybe at least gotten your money back, if not a few more dollars. Because I know uh, Medio Man, I think, uh, who joins us sometimes, works at a coin shop. And he was saying a lot of times they'll pay 95 and sometimes 98%. So if they would have given you a 98% of spot on that coin, you could have made a quick 25 bucks. And of course, mm -hmm. if, if gold goes up over the you know, next few days after mm -hmm. you buy it, but 30 bucks, 40 bucks, 50 bucks, sure. that even becomes more. 
as you know, we don't buy coins to flip, we buy coins to stack. So we weren't looking at it from that perspective, but I mean, it's just a, a wonderful situation where you can get, uh, you know, there's over $60 off of that coin with, with, uh, um, with eBay bucks. So, and that was only an 8% or a lot of times eBay bucks are, or 10%, had it been 10%, it would have been about $75 off. And usually on one transaction, the most you can get off is 100 bucks. but a lot of people buy ounces of, you know, ounces of gold, gold coins, an ounce gold coin, and even though it maxes out 100 bucks, it takes it like from 1600 to 1500 and you're below spot with your ounce coin too, yeah. you know, so. But, uh, yeah, we, you know, the, the you know, YouTube, uh, Videos we watch uh, say that you know gold's going up. It's just a matter of time that gold's going to continue to rise. So poor silver stealer, you made him cry. <laughs> Could not afford it. <laughs> oh, silver stealer. <laughs> but he did feel better after he honked his horn at a bad driver. <laughs> yep. Yep. Blame TV for that. Yep. And then Don't Ask says, no way you would sell. Uh, at spot for a pre-1933 coin. I, I totally agree with you. Don't ask. You know, the dealers might not be so uh, understanding, but I, I agree. A pre-19... This uh, one that we got was in 1880. was 139 years old. 139 yeah, years old? So I mean, cool. the, the history of that coin, right. the pockets it's been in, you know, the $10 Liberty... The ten dollar gold coin was the largest denomination coin for quite a few years in America. So what was that coin used for? And I mean just the history of it. It's gotta be incredible. Hey, Fiat Destroyers joined us. How you doing, yeah. F D? Appreciate you joining us. R V says he loves it when uh R V says they love it when we post deals, yeah. I try to when I see them, but there's plenty of others out there that do it as well. So, mm -hmm. and then Silver Steeler, sorry for making you cry, man. That certainly wasn't my intention. <laughs> <laughs> there have been deals we've passed up uh, because just not having the budget for it at the time. It was a good deal, but yeah, we really want to start. We really want to start getting some more American Silver Eagles and. But those things are just, you know, they're up usually about it twenty bucks nice. now. So it would be nice. But you know, we got we gotta we gotta wait our turn to get them. So <laughs> Michael Mullins, hey Michael, how you doing? Thanks for joining us. And eBay Bucks is great leverage if you are a consistent buyer. Yeah, that's true. I mean, the only way you're gonna get a, a lot of eBay bucks back is if you spend a lot. So that's that's a pro and a con. But if you are gonna buy some things, I mean especially, you know, like constitutional silver, you can get below spot with eBay bucks. Why wouldn't you do that, I guess, uh, you know? Uh, Big Stack McGee does a lot of videos about using coin exchange when I buy constitutional silver on, on mm. eBay. That's where I go through as well. And you can get them, you can get them, uh, you know, quite a bit cheaper below spot. And who doesn't want that? I mean, where else are you going to get constitutional silver below spot if you don't have a guy like we have? And most people don't have a guy like mm -hmm. we have, so... And we didn't always have a contact like that. Oh, no, and we didn't. So, and we, uh, and again, of, his... His, uh, you know, reservoir of resources, I think, is dwindling. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Up to 22 That's people. Oh, I appreciate it. I showed 24. Oh, awesome. yeah, 24. Yay. Yeah. Michael M. and Fiat Destroyers joined us, driving up our numbers. That's good. There's no crying <laughs> precious metals tweet Colt in the League of Their Own. <laughs> Good one, Ripples. <laughs> Even cries of joy, Ripples. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so Michael says, Man, I wish I could have a long conversation with my local LCS. They are pretty stuck up, though. I have no choice, so it's the only one near me. Yeah, I mean, that's... I don't know. We haven't found a good one. Uh, I'm, we're going to go visit one one of these Saturdays at, uh, we, when we have time. One of these uh, days. We have to plan days. for it. It's a yeah. bit of a drive. It's a bit of a drive. It's not The ones real close, close to us aren't really worth uh, right. hanging out at. Uh, they don't have a whole lot Nothing of... Nothing that we And seen. they don't have a lot of good deals either. They're very, very <laughs> high priced. You know, TB, he likes those deals. Gotta get a deal. Gotta yeah. get a deal. Yep, yep. He'll walk away from a bad deal. Yep, so, oh, looks like we just lost a few. So it does oh, look like no. we're gonna make 30 tonight, but that's okay. 
And uh, so yeah, so anybody that's not signed up for eBay Bucks, I would highly encourage you to do so. Uh, as was said in the chat, you do have to spend money to make money. Um, to get those discounts. To get those discounts, right. but if you're going to spend it, why not get a little bit of a deal? Exactly. And then as most of you know, silver, silver's dropped and silver and gold dropped quite a bit today. So I'm wondering, is anybody buying anything because of it? Silver, last I looked, was down to... 1713 and it's probably even lower than that now because when I put in the uh, the coin calculator thing it showed up lower. Let me see if I can see what it's at at JM Bullion right now. Uh, silver is at oh, 1711 and gold's at 1472. I mean just a day or two ago gold was over 1500 bucks so it wasn't that long ago. Silver headed up to 1950. What was that? Two weeks ago maybe? So yeah. So, Fiat Destroyer says, got to go the other day. Thank you for the beautiful coin. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> awesome. All right, so can you can you put in the email address for Elk Creek oh. Powers asking for it's tb at talkingboying.com. Uh, I do have your old address, so it's good uh, Good if you uh, want to update that. That would be awesome. We'll send you a Mrs. TB Magnet and reach out to you as well. Like, uh, Matt Fiat Mine gives off the vibe that everyone is stupid and doesn't want to deal with you. Yeah, I know, you, you know, even, even at the coin shows, you get the dealers that uh, kind of, you know, give you that attitude. It's like, that's all right, I got plenty. It's one guy I won't deal with at all because he gave me an attitude months ago about something. I'm like, look, I don't I don't need it. There's plenty of people here that will sell to me without it, uh, right. um, without the attitude. So I'm not going to deal with you. Uh, Alex has what, a really nice one about 15 minutes away. I bought a barber quarter mercury dime last week. Cool. Oh. Awesome. Those barber quarters are cool. Yeah, they are. They sure are. Uh, so Ripples is going to play play the odds. It's going to go down a little lower, yeah? Uh -huh. I'll tell you what, if it, uh, if it, um, if it hits 16, I bet you're going to see a lot of big run on silver. Just that oh. magic number is 16 again, and we're only okay. 10, 11 cents from that. Well, isn't it funny, though? They say that when the price goes down, that's when people start selling, not buying. Yeah. So, yeah, because they're afraid they're going to lose too much money. Yeah. In fact, Sal just did a video on that today. Yeah. Silver Steel says, I bought the entire Queen's Beast two-ounce coins last night, all eight coins Ooh. in the box, and then I cried again. <laughs> <laughs> Those Queen's Beast, yeah, those are, I'm, I don't collect the Queen's Beast, but a lot of people do, and I know I've seen them, I've seen the box that they make for them, it's a pretty nice set for sure. My LCS guy likes uh, to get you, tries to induce fear by saying, but then they have your address. Yeah, like, uh, oh. yeah, Jane Boy and Aunt Max are uh, going to send out a crew to, to rob you, yeah. Mm. Um, you know, anything's possible, you could get a rogue employee, but uh, that's the least of my worries. Yeah. Yeah, when he says it was his Christmas present for me, so I bought the Queen's Beast. Well, wow, that's an early oh. Christmas present, so I guess that's nice. it for you, Silver Steeler. <laughs> Don't be looking for anything under the tree, because it ain't going to be there. Yeah, no new tires either. <laughs> <laughs> One day in coin was a hundred bucks tissue, please. <laughs> Um, uh, Silver Steeler, yeah, why don't you, or um, Silver Turtle, I probably have your address, but I can't guarantee it. If you want to give me one second, Mrs. TB, if you could talk momentarily, <laughs> I will find out if I have. Okay, go ahead and look it up. Yeah, well, I'm All just right. I'm trying to answer his question. I don't always, uh, keep them mm -hmm. for privacy reasons, you know. Um... We're getting pretty close to the top of the hour. Yep, but I don't know if you wanted to ask anybody about, you know, if anybody owns the a precious metals verifier. I mean, we see International Stacker using one, and Spectacular did a recent video. Um, they're pretty pricey, but if you think about it, it could potentially pay for itself with yep. just one bad coin. Yeah, it sure could. So I don't know if any of you own. We don't. We don't own one. So. Um, Silver Turtle, I, I do have your email address, and it looks like I still have your mailing address if you haven't changed it. Um, we, we are good to go. I've got it. Uh, I can send it to you. No problem. And then uh, we'll get back to um, 
Mrs. TV's uh, thought here in just a second. RV Nomads wants to know what the name of the app was again. It was a website called JunkSilverGuide.com. And maybe Miss TV, Junk she's going to... JunkSilverGuide.com. Okay. JunkSilverGuide.com. Go ahead and hit that one, and then you can type in CoinApps.com. APS? APPS, CoinApps.com. So those two will help you out quite a bit. And then there's coinflation.com as well. So there's there's some good ones for you there, RV. Thanks, thanks for asking. And uh, let me see. Yep, Jake's talking about the Federal Reserve bailing out big banks with repos. I think it's well over $100 right. billion now. Right. Yeah, but the, but the metals go really? lower. Yep. Mm -hmm. There's some manipulation that most people believe is going on with that. So yeah, Michael M says International Stacker has a pro version and Spectacular has a regular version. Yeah, I'd, if I were to buy one, I'd go with the regular version. It's about half the price on the oh, is that? verifiers, yeah. How much do those run, do you know? Um, the regular version's between seven and eight hundred dollars and the pro version's fourteen to fifteen hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. So they're they're pricey. Mm -hmm. You have to be dealing in some pretty serious bullion to buy one. But again, one like you said earlier, one bad gold coin it paid itself right. off. You could prove it and return it. So, um, winning image photography, uh, did you see the question? She asked, what else did you learn at the show, Mrs. TV? Um, at the coin show. Anything yeah. else? About a couple quarters, didn't you? Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Yeah. What are they? What'd you do with them? They were sitting right there a minute ago. I don't know. Anyway, she bought a disappearing couple, coins. She bought a couple quarters to kind of go along with the project she's working on. They weren't anything special. They only cost like a buck or two. They're there. Under my laptop. And uh, safe and sound. Yeah. So the thing is, is that the national parks have like a pass book that you can collect stamps for. When you visit them. When, yeah. Right, when you visit them and you can, uh, you know, it's an inked stamp and you have the date on there for when you visit. And So, so these are just a got. couple, sure. So we've been just, to a couple of these parks and we thought it'd be cool to maybe put the quarter with the stamp. And, uh, you know, we paid, uh, you know, a little bit of price for them, but that's okay. Uh, here's a Yosemite one, uncirculated. It's a 2010D. And uh, so, got one of those. And then, as you guys know, the Hawaii one's always been a little bit more pricier, so this is a little bit more. But again, thing is, is we're going to take these, we're going to staple them inside with the stamp, and just kind of a cool collectible to kind of go with, go with the other stuff. So, what was the year on the Hawaii? 2012. Yeah, 2012s are, the whole series was a little bit more... So she picked up a couple of those. She just kind of came upon them and thought, hey, those would be cool to right. pick up. As yeah. long as I have the the book for the National Parks. Yeah, Don't Ask says uh, he has the National Park passport, passport book. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yeah, we didn't have it before we went to some of the parks since we've been together, but now that we do have it, it's really cool. All right, so um, we are ready to do our last call. And this All has right. a Long big question. So this is for the 68 1940, I'm sorry, 40% Kennedy. And for that right now, in case you want to know, is we put in the 40 percenter. This is how much the melt spot value is. It is $2.51, not too bad for just hanging out with us for an hour. So here is the question. Get your Google poll up. You ready? Now listen to the way that the sentence is structured. What was the first coin struck for the United States? So the first coin that was struck for the United States, not necessarily the first one the United States made themselves, what was the first one that was struck for the United States? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna take well, go. Yeah, go ahead. No, no, uh, Silver Turtle. Why don't you let uh, Why don't you let somebody else see if they can they can win it? Since you already got yourself a prize there, that'd be the best thing to do. You got yourself a quarter already. 
Now, now, uh, talk, did the, you want the year? And year the and the type of coin, yeah. Type of evolve. coin, oh. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Sir Turtle, I appreciate that. Just so we can spread the wealth a little bit. <coughs> All right, so we need the year and the type of coin. And we have some pretty good uh, information surrounding this one. I've got a picture for you as well. Keep guessing. I haven't seen the answer yet. Not the one that the mint first made, the one that was first struck for the U.S. Specifically for the U.S. Come on, Harvey Nomad, pull up that Google. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Silver Turtle has been kind and trying to save us some postage. That was oh, thank so you, sir. thoughtful. It is. <laughs> Uh, well, we thought this one would go a lot faster. It's a, it's a little bit of a tough question, I think. I, I didn't know it until I researched it. I just don't know what we're going to do for a hint. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> well, maybe you could say, you know, yeah. well, that All right, nomination. Uh, Oh, Jake says a $3 bill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, do you want to give him a hint there, TV? Yeah, RV says we should be drawing names. Right. Yeah, sometimes we do a comment picker off a of video, which is uh, mm -hmm. makes it a little bit easier to RV. That's uh, um, possible, too. So, the hint is it was made in America. Hmm. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure. You know, it doesn't really say who made it for them. No, it doesn't. Does it? You want to give them that hint as far as the or denomination? The, or and the, the year, or which one do you think? Not the year, but the denomination. All right, so we will tell you guys it is a dollar. But mm -hmm. what kind of dollar? There's a, we need a year and the type of dollar. There's a specific name for it. That's what we're looking for. Come on, this is worth uh, $2.51. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have any real no. way to randomly select somebody either, so. We don't. Oh, the Trump dollar, that's close. <laughs> They were being prophetic. They knew 200 and some odd years later. Um, All right, Mrs. TV, I think we're so going it to... A, it was a continental uh, dollar, which... Oh, you're going to give them that, too? Sure, why not? That could help the with TV figuring out what dollar. year, perhaps. All right, Mrs. TV, it's one time for you guys. <laughs> No, no, she just gave you that it was a continental dollar. Now we just need the year. What year was it? What year was the first coin struck for the United States, according to this? What year? Oh. Wait a minute. Did off oh, no, off-grid didn't win. That's right. Off-grid got it. Off-grid power got it. It was 1776. Continental dollar. Mrs. Yeah. TV, you want to read the information or you want me to? It's a little bit lengthy there, but it is pretty interesting is. because um, I guess it's really popular for uh, coin collectors. And as the founding fathers met in Philadelphia um, to create the structure for the country, this coin represented that major step. Or a new nation and identi identity. So that that was really good. So do you want to fill in some more information there? Yeah, it was interesting to find out that it was, uh, they, they think that Benjamin Franklin designed the reverse side of the coin. Oh, yeah. And uh, you guys can see I put up a picture there of it. The reverse side of the coin reveals a series of links around the outer edge, which, re which represents a call for unity among the colonies. So... We'll just skip cool down. Design. Yeah, let's talk about this middle part too, because it, they say that the they believe Elisha Gallaudet of New Jersey designed the obverse, which features a sundial with the Latin legend "Fugio," which stands for "I fly," and the motto "Mind your own business." <laughs> and you can see it on that picture I got there. 
the message historian believe was to remind America that time flies, so it's important to Ooh. take care of your business promptly. Wrapped around the outer edges are the words Continental Currency, 1776. One of the die combinations included a misspelling of currency, while another read currency. I mean, there's just two different misspellings. Misspellings. Mm, so, uh, in 2014, one of them sold for $1.41 million. Woo-wee! Man. No wonder we don't have that in our collection. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get back. Wow, wow. All right, Fugio, Fugio. Yep, 1.41 million. Yes, off grid power, congratulations. Yeah, that was a hard one. We didn't think it would be that difficult, but no, we must uh, not have that information out there. Well, you can see that it's not. Oh. A frequent, tr frequently traded item. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a hard one. But we tried to, uh, we tried to, you know, give you guys some some good information. Want to educate you as well. It's good to mm -hmm. find out some of these cool little things. Um, Darth Stack says they wanted a turkey as a bird on the reverse. Hmm. Really? Mind your own business. I don't I don't think it'd be. No, it says business. it really didn't. It says. Mind your business, didn't I, TV? Did you misread yeah. it? <laughs> it does say mind your business, yeah. Hey, mind your business. That was your interpretation. Mind your own business. <laughs> um, yeah. So Wendy wants to know, Philly opened in 1792, so where was it struck? You know, I, all the data I found, it doesn't say who struck it for us. They, it was designed in anticipation of a loan of silver bullion from France. This fascinating coin was struck at a standout moment in U.S. history. It doesn't say, uh, it says that the French failed to deliver on the loan, but the founding fathers moved forward with the minting, just in small numbers. It doesn't say who minted it for them, so interesting. That's a pretty important uh, um, kind of key information they left off of there. They did. So, what does, what do you want, Silver Ripples? Can we have one of those? TV, what do you what do you want? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, thanks everyone. So, gobble gobble, they want a turkey for the national bird. So anyway, we ran a little bit late tonight, but we appreciate you guys sticking with thanks us. Thanks for hanging out with thanks us. Thanks for hanging out. We always enjoy you guys so much. We have so much fun uh, getting out here and hanging out with you guys. Uh, so ripples. Uh, um, oh, oh, he wants us to give him a fancy continental dollar. <laughs> okay, we've got his address. Like we've ever seen one of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they've got replicas. This picture I showed you was a Peter replica you can buy for like 30 bucks or something. But, uh, you know, they only made, they didn't make very many of them. I think I saw less than 2,000 of them or something. So, yep, thanks, Fiat. Have a good night. Take care, everybody. Thanks, Al. Appreciate you joining us. Yeah, thanks, Upgrade Power. Good to see you tonight. Uh, so, Silver Turtle says he's getting close to monetizing. Ooh. Needs a bit more watch time. Um, so, yeah, guys, visit Silver Turtle. He's got some great stuff. I think you'll really enjoy it. Watch his videos every time I get notified. So, go out there and check him out. He's got some, some good variety out there. And uh, he'd really appreciate it. Um, yep, thanks, uh, FPM. Really appreciate it. Keep pushing, my friend. Take care, don't ask. Thank you for joining us tonight. Yep, peace to you too as well, Dark Stacker. Michael M., good night. Take care, Silver Steeler. Thank you very much. We'll be in touch soon. <laughs> uh, sooner than you think. <laughs> Off Grid's Power says, I do need my wrench back, though. Oh, your wrench is gone? Then. Who took your wrench away? Can I didn't take your wrench away. That? Maybe it, maybe it times out after a while or something. Mm, I don't maybe. know. But we can take right. care of that right now. All right, you can go ahead and type something, OGP. You are now a moderator. Okay, sounds good, Silver Steeler. Thank you very much. Good night, good night uh, Silver Turtle. Turtle. Everybody take care. RV, thank you again for joining us. We really appreciate your support on our channel. And take care, everyone. Have a great night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.